Okay, back in my car. Still in my car. Uh, for vlog number four. Uh, earlier this week I watched Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, which is the second movie in that film franchise. Um, I like this movie a lot. I've seen it I eh, like me like four or five times. I remember seeing it when I came out in theaters, which was cool. Um, so I was like, uh, that was like 2007. So I was like eight, eight or nine. Um, so of course I ate it up. Uh, but I still, I still like the movie. Um, I like the whole franchise, really. Even the, even the newest one, which is kind of like me. Um, but why do I like this movie? Uh, this like man, I even looking back, like I know eight years ago. If it was, I think it was 2007. Eight years ago isn't like a super long time, especially in the frame of making movies. But as far as special effects go, like a lot can happen in eight years, and I'm sure a lot has, but the special effects in that movie still look so good. Like, Davy Jones, his face is all like tentacly. Well, actually, everybody in this crew is like all like turning into like fishes and they have like barnacles on their faces and stuff. It's, oh, it's so cool. Um, that's another thing I like, it's just like the makeup and design. Anyway, I'll get to that, but, um, I guess I'm moving around. Yeah, the, the CGI on Davy Jones himself, like, I can't stop looking at it. Like, his skin looks like octopus skin, and all the tentacles are moving, they got, like, ooze on them, and all the little sucker cups, and, oh, it looks, it looks awesome. And then, like I was saying with the other people on, um, in Davy Jones' crew, like, with the barnacles growing out of the skin, like, not only does it look super real, which, of course, I would expect it to, because this movie had a huge budget, I'm sure, but it's, like, just the idea of it is so cool. Like, I dig I dig pirates, as I think, like, most people do. It's pretty sweet. But, like, the Kraken and, like, a like you serve on this dude's crew and then you turn into a fish. Like, that, I think that's why I like this movie. Oh, I thought those cost for a second. I, I think that's why you, I like this movie so much more than the others in the franchise is because... It's, like, centered around, like, Davy Jones and that whole, like, crew and that and that idea. And I think that's so cool that, like, you're gonna die. And he's like, yeah, I can sort of, like, save your soul, but not really, like, from myself. That's the one part I never got. Like, he'd call up the Kraken, and the Kraken would destroy the ship. And then he'd be like, either I can kill you or you can serve me. Which I guess is, like, a good way to get things done. You kind of you take care of the whole process yourself, but... I still think it's cool, despite apparently not understanding it. Um, and, like, obviously everybody loves Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm just going to keep talking about things they like about this movie. Obviously everybody loves Captain Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp, because he's freaking awesome. I like Johnny Depp a lot in general, but, like, in these movies especially, like, it's just, it's such a unique character, and he's so, f he's so freaking good at it. I almost swore again. He's so good at it. Uh, Orlando Bloom, I... A little blue, cause you could honestly, excuse me, replace him with a cardboard cutout of Orlando Bloom in these movies, and I wouldn't notice. Like other than when he's fighting, like I don't pay attention to him. Like him and him and uh, Kara Knightley, who's oh, gorgeous, um, have like a whole storyline thing. I don't, I don't care. Like and like hit Will Will Turner, who's Orlando Bloom's character. Like his dad is on David Jones' crew. I don't care. That's probably my least favorite part of this movie, is Orlando Bloom. Not like Orlando Bloom himself, but just the character. I just don't care. Eh. Um, I guess I, while I'm talking about things I don't like about this movie, some of this stuff is a little cheesy. Like, uh, just like some of the stunts. Like, that would... I get that this movie isn't, like, super rooted in reality. I mean, there's, like, a Kraken and freaking undead Davy Jones and all this stuff. But, like... When they're when they're fighting on like the giant rolling um, like wooden wheel, like come on, that's I don't know. It's definitely one of those things that I was like, this is so cool when it came out, and I was nine, and I'm like, this is. But now it's like it's just a little I don't, not like corny even because it's pretty well done. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it should bug me as much as it does, but it does. Um. But despite, I still love this movie. Like, like I said, the, like, I, w I would love a whole nother movie just about Davy Jones and his, his guys just doing their thing. Because, like, the only thing about Pirates of the Caribbean that, oh my god, sorry, that really needs to be in this movie is Jack Sparrow, but, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, 
Uh, as far as directing and cinematography goes, these movies are they're pretty beautiful. I mean, obviously, it's on the pretty much the highest level of budget that you can get. This is a huge, uh, huge franchise, but the um, I some of the shots. I really dig this, and I notice it's not like super often used, but they'll have like the camera will be like half in the water, half out of the water. I really like that, like because you can see what's going on underwater and and above water at the same time, and I think that's really cool. Like I think there's one shot where they do it for the where the kraken shows up, and I may just be totally making this up or thinking this up, but like the boat is on top of the water, and the kraken's coming up from underneath, and the camera's like super far out. And there's like, you know, like, flo looks like it's floating in the water, basically, you know. And then the screen is divided in half by the water, and you can see the Kraken coming up, and like the little boat just sitting up there. And it's awesome. Think like Jaws poster, you know. Like, um, the, uh, the sets and, and, well, I guess more locations, really. Uh, I, the only sets are really the ships. I don't know. That's not true. What am I saying? Anyway, sets and locations and all that stuff is awesome. I really dig, like, tropical Caribbean island, you know, white sand, blue water. Um, the island where they meet, like, the tribal people, I guess. I don't know. Natives? They never really give them a name. Um, that is a super cool... Like, I don't know how much of that is real, how much of that is CGI. If that's, like, a real island somewhere that looks just like that, that is awesome. I want to go there. Because it just looks so cool. It's got like towering cliffs and jungles and like I said, blue water and white sand beaches and oh, I, d I dig all of that. That's part of what I like so much about pirates is like the Caribbean part. Um, and the the ships and props and clothing look freaking awesome. I, I One thing I appreciated about this movie when I saw it, or just these movies in general, when I see them now is how much dirt they put on all the people except for like the royalty and like the you know the white wig wearing guys how clean the the wig people look in oh 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 come back to me how clean the wig people look in contrast to like pretty much everybody else not just the pirates because everybody was kind of dirty back then but the pirates especially is awesome like they like, on the part, they even have, like, dirt under their fingernails and, like, like around... I mean, like, obviously it's expected because it's a, they're spending a ton of money on this makeup and design people and costume and all that. I'm sure they're going to get the best, but, like, wow, the best is awesome. Um, yeah, the ships look great. The Like I said, the special effects really have not suffered that I could see anyway. Um... Yeah, I, I like this movie a whole lot. I'm not, I guess I didn't really talk about the plot. Do I need to? I don't know. I hope not. Um, the Well, I guess I can talk about the plot a little bit. It's it's actually not like... The, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies aren't very corny or predictable to me. The The last movie I watched I didn't like because it was predictable. But like this, I mean, obviously I had seen it a few times before I saw it this most recent time, but... Even then, like, I still, I still wasn't like, oh, this is, this is like, only a nine-year-old would fall for this, basically. It was still engaging, and I think, you know, that's part of the reason why these movies are so successful, because, like, I don't know, I, I could see myself enjoying these movies as they came out, as I was an adult. Just like superhero movies nowadays, you know, adults watch those, too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, mm, good lord, I'm tired. It's like, it's obviously a, a big-budget slam motion picture but it's pretty awesome so yeah that's it number four there you go gary